I welcome all of you on uh, your PD education and uh, as you people are preparing for your upcoming uh, group task and interview in Numali Gad Refinery Limited NRL. So this document will be very, very helpful to you. So as you know, your PD uh, provides you detailed information about particular organization for which you are going for the interview. And in personal interview, especially in the HR part, knowledge of that particular organization is very important. So the source of uh, information uh, for Europedia are the website, direct website of that particular organization like NRL and then, you know, some another information sources like Wikipedia, Investopedia or, uh, you know, other government agencies, uh, those kind of information we take it and provide it to you. You can always take, take this document and uh, visit the website and uh, write down some more points. Uh, which are more relevant for you. <clears throat> so this generic document can be taken and then you can prepare accordingly. So let me now uh, discuss with you the uh, this information related to NRL. So here it comes on a screen. So let's you know, discuss this information here. Now, uh, what you need to know about uh, this organization is uh, there are certain informations. Uh, first of all, where is the you know, uh, office, where is where is this located, refinery, where is the location of this, which district is that located and little bit knowledge about that particular area. So if you are talking about Assam, then there are certain places in Assam which are important and which you should know. And you know, when you will be having personal interview, uh, suppose you are from different part of India, let's say you are from, you know, Maharashtra or uh, Tamil Nadu or some another part of India, they will ask you that, will you be comfortable serving in this part of India? <clears throat> will you be comfortable serving in Assam? So it is under Ministry of Petroleum Natural Gas. Uh, so you should know who is the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas. And, uh, uh, you know, Ministry of uh, Petroleum and Natural Gas, Government of India, Assam Oil, Ministry of Mineral and Petroleum, as Government of Assam. So even Minister of Mineral and Petroleum, Government of Assam is important. I have given in this document only Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Government of India. But yes, Government of Assam is also important. So parent organization is Oil India, Government of India, Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. So Oil India and Government of Assam, they are the owners. So what is the turnover? So when, when was it formed? It was founded in 1993 and the turnover is, uh, you know, 10,000 crore. That is how you should know. And later on, I will tell you there are different categories of, you know, public sector, Maharatna, Miniratna, Navratna. So which category is this coming? Yeah, so this information is directly from the website uh, under which ministry it comes, who are the owner of it. And it was opened in 1999. I'll show you the uh, kind of, uh, you know, flow diagram. What is the meaning of that? So why 1993 I'm saying and why 1999 I'm saying. So uh, NRL office is in Guwahati, which is a capital city of Assam. Uh, and also it is called gateway to Northeast. Uh, distance between Guwahati and Nomaligad. Guwahati is the nearest airport, I believe. And uh, from there, five kilometer journey to this Nomaligad refinery. It is incorporated, it was incorporated, established as a company in 1993 and uh, then BPCL uh, was a major promoter for this, 32% share of BPCL and uh, commissioning was done in 1999. So these two dates now, you know, when was it established as a company and when was it commissioned? And uh, in 2001, uh, NRL becomes subsidiary of BPCL. But uh, in 2021, as you know, uh, privatization of BPCL is being talked about. So BPCL exit uh, NRL as major majority stakeholder. So now what is uh, uh, Oil India Limited is uh, the major stakeholder of this. Now uh, that is 80% and then government of Assam share. Engineers India Limited acquires 4.37% uh, of the equity. So this information is also important. Okay, so nearest airport is Zorhat, not Guwahati, but Zorhat. But uh, I don't know whether there's a direct flights for uh, everyone from Zorhat because it is an air force station, I suppose. <clears throat> Distance between Guwahati uh, and National Highway 37. National Highway 37 is very important uh, for, uh, you know, other national parks and all also. So NH 37, you remember. This is the most recent and most uh, modern public sector unit. 
uh, Numaligad Refinery Limited (NRL). So, when you have to introduce some, can you tell something about Numaligad? You will say yes, sir. This is the most recent and modern public sector unit. It is a mini ratna company, and uh, it's a joint venture of Oil India Limited, uh, Government of Assam, and uh, some equity is uh, of EIL also. Yeah, so I was telling you that uh, what is there on National Highway 37. Kaziranga is, you know, very famous national park and it is a world heritage site also. And uh, why it is famous? It is uh, famous for one horn uh, rhino source. So unicorn uh, rhino. It is very famous for that and also migratory birds. So it is famous for that. Majuli is, uh, Assam is famous for Majuli, world's largest river island. So uh, in the middle of river Brahmaputra, it is famous for that world's largest river island actually uh, so migratory word also come here <clears throat> then siliguri marketing terminal it belongs to uh, nrl marketing terminal in siliguri so uh, remember what is siliguri and where is the siliguri west bengal and how it is connecting siliguri is very strategically important place for india now vision mission and objective of the company you need to go through this and remember certain things about vision what is a vision? This is an energy company actually, NRL. It is an energy company and they want to have poor competency in refining and marketing of petroleum products. Similarly, vision is, you know, uh, develop the core competencies in this, create wealth for the nation. So all you need to know is what is the mission for uh, RNL? You'll say, sir, the mission of this is to maximize wealth creation for all the stakeholders. Who are the stakeholders? The companies, owner companies, the shareholders of the company even public who have taken the shares of this company so all are uh, stakeholders of this or the people who are working there or vendors who are working with this company so all are basically stakeholders and uh, leading to professional and personal growth of employees to create the knowledgeable and inspired pool of employees and to ensure their personal and professional growth objectives are this uh, maximize the capacity utilization so whatever capacity you have created you have to maximize it inculcate business uh, practice through use of erp and e-commerce and uh, focus on the development of uh, human resource so erp e-commerce is something which can be asked in the interviews from you now kunja kanan uh, that is the place where you will stay nrl township actually this is 250 acres of you know very good uh, uh, look uh, place uh, township for you and it is uh, at some few kilometers and uh, this is created very nicely so that you can stay there uh, this is the houses for you uh, once you get uh, you know appointed as in nrl you go there ecology and environment uh, it is actually energy company so it has to take care of the you know eco uh, system that is safe and eco friendly technologies are to be used and engineering practices are to be used <clears throat> so environment management system is something which you should read Europedia has lot many videos on environment management system so iso 14001 occupational and safety health uh, administration osha 18001 so isrs protocols so uh, you know environment management system nrl has upgraded and certified latest version which is iso 14001 2004 so energy uh, management system under iso 5001 uh, this this is something which you should go through and as i told you europedia has these lectures you can go through that some information related to awards recent awards fame international award they got that is for excellence in environment management category so you know if they ask that is energy company polluting company what do you have to say you say no sir they are taking care of the environment and in fact recently they got fame international award also income tax player that is uh, income tax payer that is also uh, award they've got what are the main products of nrl main products are these you need to remember so these are the main products uh, which you should know and these are the photographs taken from their site i think so not site direct main site but other site which is they have put it on i think some another commercial site so these are the main products sometimes you ask you what are the main products marketing terminals uh, two sophisticated marketing terminals numaligad and siliguri 
major refinery products are marketed through PSU oil marketing companies and private oil companies also. Uh, the pro who are the customers of NRL? Can you name some customers? Can you name some products? Products we have discussed. Now customers are ONGC, uh, Nalco, Indalco, Gale, and T Industries. They are the customers. <clears throat> you should know the name of the chairman, Sushil Chandra Mishra, and uh, MD. That is SK Barua. You should know uh, the name of uh, chairman and CMD. As I told you, this uh, NRL comes under Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, India Government of India. So uh, Hardeep Singh Puri is the minister. You should also know, which I did not mention here, you should know about the uh, same about uh, Government of Assam. So what is uh, Maharatna, Navratna, Miniratna criteria? So, you know, it depends upon the investment the government. Uh, so you know, how much in, uh, investment a company can do without government's approval and also on the net turnover and worth of the company. So Maharatana company can invest up to 5,000 crore and uh, or 15% of its net worth, that is a criteria. Navratana can invest up to 1,000 crore and Mini Ratana can invest up to 500 crore of rupees. So 500 crore Mini Ratana, Navratana uh, 1,000 crore. And this is, the, this is the investment which you can do without permission of the government, like without the petroleum ministry uh, permission. So for the criteria for Navratana is this, uh, you know, Mini Ratna category one, this X, uh, you need to be Mini Ratna company first and get excellent, uh, good rating in past, uh, you know, uh, in three out of five years. So these are the criteria for becoming uh, Navratana. Similarly, what are the criteria for becoming Maharatana? What are the criteria for becoming uh, this? You should be very clear. So privatization of the PSU is something which is asked in many of the PSU. So can it be privatized? In fact, BPCL, Bharat Petroleum Corporation, uh, which actually had this NRL was, you know, strategic sale of this has happened. So uh, this is how it all started with finance minister's address in 2021 budget uh, that loss making PSU will only be privatized. So I want you to go through this in detail. And uh, what is a disinvestment? How uh, disinvestment is to take place? What is a recent development? And also Air India uh, sale also you can add into this. So why do we go for disinvestment? Why, what is the importance of disinvestment? What are the challenges to disinvestment? These are the things you can basically go through all. So take this document and read this document, which is important document, uh, I believe, you know, for those of you who are going for uh, this. And uh, let me tell you, if you uh, uh, are seriously preparing for NRL and group tasks, there are more than 170 group tasks which are available on your PDF website. Uh, so you can prepare that very well and a lot of HRs which our students are nowadays doing with the Europedia that also will help you. So you have reached the last stage of your interview now. Just take it seriously so that you can convert, convert it. Hope uh, this has helped you uh, and uh, you will prepare well for this particular uh, you know, interview. So all the very best for you and uh, uh, I think this is all about uh, Nomaligad and RL. So all the best for you and take this document, prepare well. Thank you.